Mr. Beast, YouTube's God. Honestly, when it came down to Mr. Beast, you don't think that he really comes for any type of heat in any way, shape, or form. But definitely today, he had some things to say about YouTube's carbon copy system online. So on Twitter today, like literally five hours ago, I there and I was blessed with Mr. B saying, hey, sometimes I regret going on podcasts, sharing everything I know about YouTube. I thought people would use this as knowledge to innovate and be inspired. But tons just copy exactly what I do and don't change anything. Kind of sad how many Mr. Beast clones there are. This tweet has literally 13 million views and you got people in the comment section actually supporting him because we know that it's here. You know that there's a bunch of like new types of creatives. I think we should come up with a new name for them. Like they're just uh, copy and paste systems. Let's just keep that. He's not a guy who safegates knowledge. Like, for the most part, he actually encourages people, shows him all his tips and tricks and things that he does online. And he doesn't have a thing in his body that showcases that he doesn't care. But definitely he cares today. I don't know what happened. Maybe he just saw the one that one video on YouTube and he was just upset. But then today, something changed. I want to go on Twitter just to see what other people are ratioing so saying online about it. Because honestly, it, it, it's, it's a really sad time to be in. To have YouTube Jesus to be saying things about YouTube that is not good. <laughs> That's super upsetting. But... Let's see what, what they say. Hyperseep says, Mr. Beast clones reading this. <laughs> Which, let's be honest. Like, if I had to use a meme to distinct exactly the state of YouTube, it has to be this guy. Which, honestly, hey, respectfully, respectfully speaking, you guys got to come up with some ideas, bro. I'm just going to go on a little bit of a run on this. Is that you got somebody who does things that are se semi-impossible. Like, you know, making the world's biggest pizza. Oh shit, someone actually did that. Oh, if you stay in the circle, if you stay in the circle, you win money. I swear no one is gonna copy that. Oh shit. Yeah, we're super original on YouTube. I I'm kind of conflicted. Cause you know, I don't have an issue with Mr. Beast and I really do actually like what he does. Cause I don't know if you guys see, but he has like three other channels or probably six or 20, I don't know. But like he has so many other channels giving back to the community, doing so much. And honestly, you, you, you might say, why is he feeling affected by this? It's because now the bar is set so high for him where it's just like, it's kind of stressful at this point. Yes, he has a team of people and he's supposed to be the guy who doesn't crack. But dude, at the end of the day, human man like you know with some of these things going on you, you can't tell me that if someone was copying your stuff like copy it completely thumbnail and all that that you're not gonna be at least a little irk just a little bit this is just the state we're in where it's just a bunch of people copying pasting and being exactly like who they want to be which honestly it, it gets like where else do we go with this i don't know so from that standpoint this throws off the question to you guys what do you, how do you feel about the state of YouTube and also with all the copy and paste Jesuses and Mr. Beast on the internet? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Please write it in the comment section down below. Anyways. Okay, so I, I was going to be more like the internet right now is just fully supporting Mr. Beast and it's just super duper like supportive and, and very encouraging and caring. But uh, now that I start, I gave the, I gave the, the, tweet, the tweet five minutes to reload. God damn. <laughs> I'm reading a lot of people being upset, mad, saying, what? What do you mean that you're that, that we're copying you? What's going on? You know what? Now let, let me give you an example. I, hold that. Thought. Give, let me give you an example. We got people which probably shouldn't drop their names, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna drop their names. Emotional problem. I don't want no problems. Bro, think he has clones because of the secrets he revealed on a podcast. You guys wouldn't have thought of it, most likely. I'm pretty sure that we everyone would have still been on an iPhone, like by by the time that you, they finished watching one of like their own videos. He does pose a pretty good question. Why are we like this right now? Why is this it? 
Why is everyone just trying to copy a systematic thing that works simply to get a minute of success? It's weird. It's just, to me, it's just weird. Like, I don't want to sit down and just copy someone's thing and just be known as the copycat. Which, but if you want to do that, go man, go smack the like button and also make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. And also, if you do not like doing that, also do the same thing. Just showcase your port. Thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu. You know, I just saw this tweet like five to ten minutes ago. Wanted to talk on it. What do you guys think about Mr. Beast and everything that he's doing? Do you think that he's wrong? Do you think that he's right? I personally think that he's right. There's a lot of copycats out there. But, hey, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Be sure to smack a like on this video. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.